Welcome back to the channel, everyone. Uh, you're probably wondering, where am I? Maybe you've seen a few videos from in here. But, yep, we are moved out. Here is all of our stuff right here from our 1,500 square foot home. This is all we kept. Got my mom's mini right here. My dad's Subaru Forester. And this guy. I don't know if you guys follow me on social media, but it's been a rough week for the Integra. This happened uh, about 10 days ago or so. Someone decided they didn't like my car. <clears throat> no, but a truck backed into my car while I was parked on the street <coughs> and caught this. Then yesterday when I was driving home, on the freeway doing about 70 I ran something over and I don't know if what it was it's something heavy and big but oh yeah I haven't even looked but yeah kind of dented up right there and there's a hole in the radiator so first thing we have to do is jack this thing up and check out all the damage that was done jacked up let's look at the damage of course hit the splitter here bumper looks good looks like it hit right here in the middle didn't really do oh yeah it pushed it back pretty good I guess I think the max speeding rod track marks they took most of the damage or impact Oil pan looks good. All right, couldn't see any other damage, but I can't see where the hole is. Man, I'm just kind of curious where it is. So I got some water right here. Gonna dump it in and see where it comes out. And I know when I was filling it up, when I pulled over, it's coming from this side somewhere. Oh, that's cold. Oh yeah, right there from the bottom of the radiator, maybe. Okay, quick look at this. We got a couple 10 millimeters holding the radiator in here up top. Uh, this for the AC and just these hose clamps, top and bottom. So let's get it off and then uh, see what we have to do. the radiator a little bit to get it out just one of the connections a little pain to unhook but you can see right here the focus is yeah right there in the middle yeah uh, this AC condenser you can see how bowed it is and actually I think this traction bar that I installed for max speeding rods a couple weeks ago actually saved this car because the radiator support right here the furthest it could go was this big old bar right here I think without it, it would have pretty much V'd this whole part in really far back. So I'm glad I actually installed that. But yeah, this AC condenser probably has a leak in it. Uh, AC kind of sucked in the car anyways. But we'll figure that out later on. Right now the goal is to get a replacement radiator hopefully I can find one on Facebook marketplace or something because I have a plan to upgrade it but I won't get it till later this week welcome back it's been a few days uh, got my radiator order I ended up ordering this Koyo rad 
from Heel Toe Automotive. I'll leave a link down in the description. Also, the radiator cap. Then, of course, I run OEM Honda coolant. Thanks to Wifey for picking it up for me. So, let's get this thing unboxed. points for the fans, OEM size, fitment, sweet, so let's get the, let's get these fans put on and put on the car. Here's a closer look of the Koyo Rad, called the mounting points for the fans, quality, it's just really great. <laughs> on they provide new hardware it's all in there what I like about this Koyo Rad you can use the stock fans for the AC and for the radiator so now we just gotta take it over and install it in the car Okay, got everything hooked up. Got all that hooked up. AC bracket back on. Kind of don't like it because it covers up the Koyo Rad logo, but it's all good. Got plugged in, cleaned out the overflow a little bit. Don't have much time. I'll probably get a new one, to be honest, or try to clean it better next time. But time to start filling it up. And like I said, I use OEM Honda coolant. So it should take, I think, about two gallons. We'll see. Well, let's start filling it up and then bleed out the system. Let it a little bit more while it's down. Now, last step is put on the JDU uh, cap. I'm gonna go take it for a little drive and stop by the market, anyways. And then we'll just double check everything when I get back. Super simple. Man, that really looks good. And I think earlier I said it's not any bigger. Well, it is uh, thicker. But here, let me go show you what I meant. Fits in the stock location. Meaning, if you look at the stock one right over here. See how thick this is right here? But the actual radiator is that thin. So the Koyo Rad one, this pretty much fills out this whole plastic piece. So that's why you can run the stock fans and everything. But yeah, that's going to wrap it up for this video. I'm just going to take it for a little drive, like I said. Let's double check everything. Uh, if you've been following me, which I think I showed earlier, the, the day you, you realized that my Integra did get hit. And I got good news. Uh, the guy's insurance is paying for it. Didn't even have to fight them. They called me and said, yep, take it into the body shop and get it fixed. So, this will be fixed. Integra will be looking good. 
and then hopefully in a month or two I'll be in Florida then I can take start taking this out to the track but thanks for everyone that watched this whole video and got to this point uh, leave a thumbs up comment something down below let me know that you made it to the end and hopefully you enjoyed this video until next time peace out